Hello everyone, this is Jewel Diamond Taylor with a thought for the day. Today I want to focus on the power of visualization. Being able to use your imagination to see with your third eye, to see with your spiritual eyes what you want to be, what you want to do, and what you want to have. Uh, it's no secret that whatever we focus on, we're going to attract it. It's going to show up in our lives. So why not begin to see what you want to do, what you want to be, what you want to have, where you want to go. I have been teaching this for years. Back in the 90s, we called it treasure mapping, but now it's vision boards. And my actual visions are in a notebook so I could carry them with me so that it could be mobile and I could look at the pictures. And I'm telling you, I have seen things manifest because if they're out of sight, they're out of mind. You know that, right? If something's not constantly in your view, you will forget about it. This is why commercials cost so much on television, because they know if they keep repeatedly showing you that washer and dryer, that car, that toothpaste, that detergent, that insurance, you're going to start looking for it and you'll buy it. And you won't even know why you did it. It's just unconsciously embedded in your mind to go and get that very thing. And you may not even need a new car, a new washer and dryer, but because you constantly see it, it begins to change your thinking and uh, it's a great marketing tool. So why not market yourself? Why not use this, this concept of getting the things that you want in life? Do you want to see yourself walking across the stage getting that diploma? Do you want to see yourself opening up the doors to a new business? Do you want to see yourself in your ideal body image and weight? Do you want to see yourself on a cruise in a home? Do you want to see yourself uh, making deposits in the bank? Uh, do you want to see yourself in a loving, healthy relationship? Do you want to see your children prosperous and healthy and in divine order? What do you want to see? Do you want your ministry to grow? Do you want your business to grow? What type of clients do you want to deal with? Visualize that. Visualize the, uh, the people that you want to have in your life because they're going to have a great influence upon you. Not, not only should you visualize what you want, but say what you want to see. Say what you want to see. Now, if you look up the word prophet, prophet means one who predicts the future. And so you are your own prophet when you begin to speak about your future. And if you talk about your future in terms of negativity and lack and worry and stress, you are your own prophet and you will have what we call a self-fulfilling prophecy. And those things that you've been talking about and those things that you've been seeing in your mind's eye will begin to show up in your life. You are your own prophet. So be very mindful of the power of self fulfilling prophecy. If you say, you know, I always mess up. I never get a good relationship. I'm always broke. My car always breaks down. Nobody ever helps me. I'm always in pain. People are always abandoning me. If you say that, guess what's going to happen? You are now your own prophet and that's what will continue to show up in your life. So I want you to combine two things, your eyes and what you say your eyes and your lips, because the scripture tells us we eat by the fruit of our lips. And there are many people starving because they're not saying what they want to see and they're not visualizing what they want to see. There's great power in sitting still and visualizing. You know, as a speaker, I started in the 80s and I would visualize myself on the stage. I would visualize myself holding a microphone. I would visualize the audience clapping. I would visualize somebody handing me the check. I would visualize me getting on the airplane. I would visualize going to beautiful hotels. I would visualize this and it has come to pass. And it is a process. Yes, it is. But you've got to be consistent with the process of visualizing and saying what you want to see. Now, um, in my era, there was a comedian named Flip Wilson, and he used to have this TV show, and he had a character named Geraldine, and she would put her hands on her hips, and she would tell the men, what you see is what you get. But you know what? She was speaking the truth, that what you see is what you get. Uh, this is why when you go to the movies, they're just flashing items for you to buy, popcorn and soda, 
And have you ever noticed, check this out, have you ever noticed when you go to a restaurant or you drive through a restaurant and you look at the pictures and you see that malt and the fries and the hamburger and the dessert and you order it and then you taste it and you're like, wait a minute, this does not look like what was on that menu. It doesn't even taste like it. But they understand the power of visualization. And if they keep putting that in front of you, even though you don't want it, even though you're on a diet, you'll find yourself moving towards the pictures that you see on the menu. So it works. It's powerful. So why not use it for the benefit of your own life? Do you want to see yourself retired? Do you want to see yourself um, with a new refrigerator, a new couch, uh, a new car? Do you want to see your children moved out and productive and on their own? Do you want to see yourself enjoying a wonderful retirement? Do you want to see your body in another image, healthy and thriving? What do you want to see? I remember as a young girl, my parents would take my sisters and I after church every Sunday, we would go walking through model homes. That was a big deal then. That was the booming of all these new homes in Southern California. And we would go walk through these model homes and we would say, that's going to be my room and that'll be my room and the TV's going there. And we were visualizing it before we even had the house. And then one day my parents got the house and we watched it being built from the ground up. The very house that we used to visualize, we actually lived in it. I grew up in that house in Compton, California. And I said to myself, you know, when I get older, I want a two-story house like that. And that's exactly where I live right now. The power of visualization. Do not diminish. Do not be blind to the power that is in you. Do not shortchange yourself. Do not limit yourself. Do not live with a whatever attitude. Begin to think big, dream big, visualize big. Say what you want to see. And I promise you, as the word of God says, a man without vision will perish. You do not want your dreams and your goals and your destiny to perish and go to dust. You want to walk in your purpose and walk in your destiny. You want to walk in the abundant life. And you have to use the tools that God gave you. Your two eyes to visualize and your lips to say what you want to see. Remember, you are a prophet of your own life. Begin to speak into reality what you would like to experience, what you'd like to be, what you'd like to do, what you'd like to have and where you want to go. This is Jewel Diamond Taylor. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to visit my website, do notgiveup.net. Stay in the light.